Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I, I went ahead and laid out a couple of things. We're getting a little bit of progress. There's a lot of stuff I want to do in this episode as far as organization of things is concerned, mainly our squads and our entertainers and, and things like that. Um, let's see. I want to start first by setting a floor here. Let's get started on this roof area. Uh, can we do all that in uh, mudstone blocks? Uh, we can do everything but that tile right there, which actually makes a little bit of sense. Uh, then we want to do uh, this area here. And this area here. And that should almost roof off that area. Uh, one right there, and then when that gets built in, we'll fill in that. Do we have the doors? We have granite doors. Was that what this was for? I hope so. Well, that's where it's for right now. All right, that is going to be our Stone Workers Guild when it gets done. I've started hauling some statues uh, to a couple of to our temple and to our farmer guild. Uh, they're wanting. They have petitions for the next level. And I believe we just have to increase the value. So I'm hoping these gold statues are going to help in that regard. Uh, this temple up here, we got uh, a good portion of it done. Let's see. Can we do... Let's see. That's going to be a granite. Uh, that's going to be granite. That's going to be all granite. How many do we have? Seven? Okay, we're not going to be able to finish it, but we can at least get it somewhat started. Uh, we're dead. We're spent. All right, well, the dwarves will start working on that. We will go ahead and roll the intro, and uh, then we'll get into some dwarven reorganization. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is this pasture here is has ended up in kind of no man's land. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And I want to put it over here in this space where we don't have anything built quite yet. I'm sure something will get built there someday, but for right now, it's a pasture. Uh, let's see, the nanny, uh, the llamas. The reindeer, the llama. Uh, let's see, I've never used this down here. Uh, let's do grazing. That should get us pretty much everything we need. Oh, that's so much better than what I was doing. Huh. Uh, P, not pastured. Uh, G, we'll turn off that. That should be cats and dogs. Uh, let's add those uh, to our other pasture here, which is the ungrazing animals. Uh, P. Uh, the dogs can go loose. Actually, the dog, we'll put him in there. Uh, the cats and kittens can go loose. Uh, the poult, the piglet, the chick, and the duckling, they can go in there. Well, they'll be nice and secure. And a violent force of darkness has arrived. I feel like we were just talking about this in the last episode. Um, that unfortunately is going to kill the music. We're going to have to restart sound sense here. Excuse me for one second. There we go. All right, so a siege is here. Uh, so we might want to hold off our military <laughs> military reorganization uh, just for a spell. Unfortunately, this is going to suspend all of the construction we just set, but oh well, what can you do? Uh, citizens to the tavern. Uh, we never activated this third squad. I did create a third squad. Um, let's see. The animals should all be making their way inside. How are we looking here? I'm imagining it's going to be a big mess. Oh, yeah, we've got... Let's go ahead and zoom in on it here. We've got trolls. We've got beak dogs. We have goblins. They're coming at us with a vengeance. I'm not sure... 
if they can climb this or not. I guess this will be a test to see to see if they can. But boy, I'd really not like to know that. Uh, because if they can climb it, they might be like all over the place. Uh, let's go ahead and order the levers pulled. Let's see. I know we want to close that gate. And as soon as those two pokey llamas get in. Actually, you know what? We can probably go ahead and order it to be pulled right now. Because I think that llama will be done before that order is taken care of. Yep. Probably could have done it earlier. All right. That gate has closed up. Uh, let's go ahead and get our squads. Um, let's do A and C. We'll move you guys up here. And B, we'll move you guys down here. A and B should be our bestest trained. Uh, C is a relatively new squad that should have a lot of green recruits in it. So the southern gate is currently open. Uh, Dwarven Child has created a uh, microcline Ilram. She claims it is an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor. Fine. Not the right time, little kid. I know you're proud of your thing, but we've got we've got other things happening right now. Uh, where's our other squad at? Let's see, that should be B. Oh, I guess that station order didn't stick, or I didn't set it properly. Let's try that again. Can open the gate now and take out some beak dogs. Uh, it's interesting how the goblins are kind of hanging back. I kind of want to go ahead and open up the gate. We could probably easily wait this siege out but it's the low frame rate that I'm not too pleased with in that regard. I uh, will go ahead and open up the gate and see what happens. I'm hoping yeah, I didn't want I didn't want that to happen. I wanted our dwarves to kind of stay inside. Uh let's see. Can we override their bloodlust? I doubt it. We'll try. We'll station them back here. I'm gonna run for it. That's okay. As long as they're winning, it's all going to plan. Go ahead and zoom in on these guys here. See how we are doing. Seeing a lot of troll bodies. I'm seeing some beak dog bodies. I'm not seeing dwarf bodies. That makes me happy. All right, and they are not acknowledging that station order at all. I was hope I was hoping they would go and kill everything and then run back inside. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and and <laughs> suicide against big dogs. That's gonna take them all the way back to the main goblin force. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change their station to like right here, just in case. Uh, there are some stragglers that actually do follow orders. All right, I think I think it's going to be a, a kill order. We want to select a rectangle. We will select all of these folks. And then it's just it's on. Uh, go sick them. All right, a little bit of uh, arrow fire there, but we seem to be doing OK. All right, they're starting to they're starting to rumble there. I see a dead goblin. I see a dead beak dog. Still not seeing any dead dwarves. That's not meaning that there aren't any. I'm just not seeing any. Arrows are continuing to fly. 
goblins are continuing to drop. Boy, this is a lot different fight than our first one. All right, we do have a notification that Mistum is dead. So we have lost at least one dwarf. Let's just check the numbers. Uh, you guys are all good. You guys are all good. Okay, we lost one from our newest squad there. One of our green guys. All dwarven lives are important, but if one's going to die, hopefully it's one of the green ones. Actually, there's one of them that's in like a really foul mood. Uh, I wouldn't be upset if, if he were to meet his end. I know that's terrible. All right, I see another dead dwarf there. I'm not sure if that is the original one. No, I think I think that's a new one. Is that Zolban? Yeah. All right, we've lost two. Uh, we still have a siege going on. Hopefully it'll be finishing up here soon. How many goblins can there be left? Uh, one, two, three, four, four goblins and four beat dogs. They're still holding on with eight. All right. Well, they're changing back to their civilian clothing. So I believe that means that they've won. But where are the invaders at? Yeah, where else like this troll? Oh, he's in the gate. Um, okay, squad A. Uh, you kill him. Uh, squad B, you kill this beak dog here that I just saw. And squad C, you kill this beak dog. And hopefully in your journeys down to kill that beak dog, you'll get the other one as well. But that should be the, re that should be the remainder of our invaders. Uh, so either he snuck in the front gate or he did climb the wall and he's going to butcher our yak for us. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, we do have some hurt dwarves over there. I would like, okay. I think that troll's taken care of. Uh, we're still still marked as a siege, huh? I guess we got to kill all of them. There should just be what? Two, three big dogs left. Two big dogs right there. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and probably not very wisely uh, free up these guys. Okay, the siege did clear up. Uh, we've got another dead beak dog. All right, and hopefully all this stuff will get cleaned up now. We got a lot of hurt dwarves. Uh, hopefully they'll be taken care of as well. All right, let's zoom this back out. Good job, dwarves. We win. All right, well, that kind of uh, adjusts my plan to reorganize the military because, uh, yeah, we'll want to see what kind of injuries, uh, things like that we're dealing with. I see at least three dead dwarves. There are possibly more. Uh, one, two, three, four dwarves have died. Oh, well, that's sad. Um, I'm not sure if we have enough caskets. Uh, let's see, is that Q? Okay, that one's taken. Occupied, occupied, occupied. Boy, a lot of militia people have died. Uh, those are all occupy, occupied. Uh, do we have any more? No. 
Um, coffin. Construct a rock coffin. Let's do 10. We'll be optimistic. <laughs> and uh, we'll make those out of... Let's do... We don't have very much microcline, do we? Oh, we have a lot of... We have a lot of gabbro. Let's get gabbro. Uh, have we just used it all, turned it all into blocks? Yeah, we probably need to... Uh, set up an order to mine just a hair more. Oh, that's the end right there. That's the end of the map. A little bit more mudstone wouldn't hurt. Uh, did we get our hurt dwarves taken care of? It looks like it. Are they in the hospital right now? They are. Boy, we got a lot of them hurt, don't we? Probably need to invest in a bigger hospital. We might want to take out this wall and then just make all of this hospital. Or even expand it out. Maybe like, um, maybe we'll break up this uh, fill in this area right here, make that hospital. That, that would work. <laughs> I just, I wasn't planning. I guess that's one thing about being out in the open. Um, we get a lot more, <laughs> a lot more injuries. All right, so all the stuff that we've, uh, that we've set up here is now going to be suspended. All right, that'll at least get that taken care of, and that's probably going to be the case here, too. But luckily, it looks like it's only on the edges. Uh, there, there. There, there. Um, D, B, hide items, unhide, remove, melt, melt items, reclaim. Hmm, yep. Not what I was wanting. I just want a way to, to mass unsuspend jobs. I think that would be super handy for, like, everybody. Uh, probably this statue here is going to be suspended, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if these doors are suspended, and they are. Let's see, I know there's a screen for checking injuries in game. I believe there should be one in Dwarf Therapist as well. Uh, I forget how we get to it though. Add health. There we go. Uh, we'll take up admin, craftsman, digger. Uh, what's your problem? You're wearing a crutch. You have an artery torn. Nerve damage. Hmm. Uh, let's pull up all these guys. I'm interested in seeing the militia. Oh, we've got militia with infections. That's not good. Your neck's infected. Your left elbow's infected. As far as I know, when it gets infected, it's just always going to be infected. This might have been before we had uh, a proper hospital set up. Uh, you're tired. You don't have an ability to stand. Let's look at... Uh, we've got lacerations here. We've got some torn arteries. And nerve damage. You're missing something. What are you missing? Missing your left foot. 
you do have a crutch. I mean, there's a little bit of damage here, but uh, I think they're okay. I think they'll be all right. What's a couple of torn arteries, right? These guys are tough. They knew what they were signing up for. They've got skills. That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking at more than anything. Yeah, I need to research into infections. I know I don't think they ever heal, but I, I don't know if they do anything bad. I mean, I know they're obviously bad, right? <laughs> it's not good, but I don't know if there's any long-term ill effects for them. That would be a, a more proper way of saying that. We might want to go ahead and retire some of those hurt military dwarves and uh, thank them for their service, send them along their way, and um, and replace them with newer, younger recruits. Let's see, do we ever get any coffins? Nope. Masonry jobs are pretty backed up. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Between the tables and all the blocks. It'll be a while for that. Um, I think they do. Well, I think they will throw the dwarves in this stockpile down here. But as soon as we build a coffin, they will retrieve them and put them in the coffins. Actually, we might need to do a nice big uh, DBC up here to go ahead and claim some items. Let's do that, and let's just get all this hauling stuff out of the way. Anything else? Uh, we got some stuff here. Big dogs don't wear clothing. Uh, trolls do, I believe, though. All right, we're out post liaisons here. Boy, has it been a year already? Obviously, it has. All right, well, that roof's getting taken care of. This one should be getting taken care of. Let's see, can we go ahead and fill out the rest of this granite stuff? Not very much of it. Well, no, I think that I think that may finish it up. Uh, fantastic. And then we should be able to fill out this microcline in one foul swoop. All right, that'll get that taken care of. Uh, do we have lots of olivine? We do. Uh, that'll go to there. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have the granite, but we can go ahead and fill out. We wanted this to be all microcline. Right there. And right there. Did that go all the way? It did. We can do that, and then whenever we get the granite, we can just fill, uh, do an order over all that, and it'll fill it all in. Got a temple there. Um, maybe this would be a good place to add some more coffins on the other side. Not sure. They have to think about that. Let's take a look at our orders here. We are working on the coffins, the mugs, the doors, the thrones. Oh, we've got so much stuff to do here. Animal traps. I, I, I added a lot of things to make. That, we're running at a little bit lower of a frame rate because of all the items. It'll take a little while for that to clear up. If it clears up, we'll hope that it does. 
All right, feels a little short, but the timer is saying it's not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. In between episodes, we might trade with our Dwarven folks. Uh, we will do a little bit of cleanup, uh, finish making some roofs, and, uh, and whatever comes next. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.